how to make $500 a day using ChatGPT and Tails Factory even as a complete beginner without doing any of the work yourself because this software will do it for you. I will walk you through the entire process starting from step number one all the way to how to actually turn this into a profitable work from home business. As always, everything that I mention in this tutorial will be linked in the description box down of this tutorial. So I'll walk you through everything you need to know to get started with ChatGPT and Tails Factory and start to make money online just like this in no time. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, what is ChatGPT? Let me tell you, ChatGPT is seriously one of the coolest things out there. What I think is really amazing about ChatGPT is how it works. Using advanced deep learning algorithms, it generates text-based responses that are designed to sound just like human responses. And let me tell you, it's pretty darn convincing. All I have to do is ask a question or make a statement and ChatGPT analyzes the context and generates a response based on what it's learned from previous conversations. It's like talking to a real person, but one who always has the answers. But what's even more impressive is that ChatGPT can talk about pretty much anything under the sun from the latest scientific breakthroughs and technological advancements to the hottest fashion trends and entertainment news, ChatGPT is always ready to chat about whatever topic I throw its way. It's seriously awesome, and I can't recommend it enough. Try it out if you haven't already, and you'll be mind blown. Not let me show you how you can actually use ChatGPT to make some serious money with this step-by-step -step tutorial. Let's get into it. Step one, generate medieval story ideas with ChatGPT. Once you've got ChatGPT up and running, the first step of this money-making method is to generate medieval story ideas. Generating medieval story ideas with ChatGPT is a fun and creative process that can lead to some amazing storylines. To get started, you simply need to input a prompt or idea related to medieval times into ChatGPT and let it do its magic. Sometimes it suggests storylines I never would have thought of on my own, and it's always exciting to see where the ideas will take me. For example, I recently entered the prompt, a brave knight on a quest to find a magical sword into chat GPT, and it suggested a story where the knight must journey to a far off land, face a fierce dragon, and solve a riddle from a wise old sage to find the sword and save his kingdom. How cool is that? And the best part is you can tailor your prompts to your specific interests. If you're into stories about sorcerers, you can input prompts related to that theme and see what ChatGPT comes up with. Or if you're more interested in tales of epic battles, you can input prompts about war and conflict and let ChatGPT do its thing. Step two, enter those stories into Tales Factory. Once you've generated your medieval story ideas with ChatGPT, the next step is to bring them to life by creating illustrated storybooks. And one of the best tools for doing that is Tales Factory an app that makes it super easy to turn your story ideas into beautiful illustrated books. To get started, simply visit the Tales Factory website and create an account. Once you're logged in, you can start creating your book by entering your story idea into the app. Tales Factory will then generate a series of illustrations based on your prompt, which you can customize and arrange to create your book. One of the things I love about Tales Factory is how user-friendly it is. The app is designed to be simple and intuitive, so even if you're not a professional artist or illustrator, you can still create stunning books with ease. And because the illustrations are generated automatically, you don't need to worry about spending hours creating your own artwork. You can focus on writing and editing your story instead. Another great feature of Tales Factory is that it allows you to export your finished book in loads of different formats, including PDF, EPUB, and Mobii. This makes it easy to share your book with others or even sell it online. And because the illustrations are generated by the app, you don't need to worry about licensing or copyright issues. You own the rights to your book and can do whatever you want with it. Step three, start an Instagram Facebook page to share your stories. Now that you've created your illustrated storybooks using Tales Factory, the next step is to share them with the world and start making some money. I found that one of the best ways to do this is by starting an Instagram or Facebook page where you can share your stories with a wider audience and build up a following. To get started, think about what kind of content you want to post on your page. You can share snippets of your stories, behind the scenes looks at your creative process, or even post tutorials on how to create your own illustrated storybooks. Whatever you choose, make sure it's engaging and provides value to your followers. Once you've started building up a following, you can begin to monetize your page by promoting products or services related to your content. For example, if you write medieval themed stories, you could promote products like costumes, weapons, or other props related to that era. Another thing that I've done through Instagram and Facebook is promote these illustrated storybooks and offer them for sale. I still want you to remember that building a following takes time and effort. 
You'll need to post regularly, engage with your followers, and create content that people actually want to see. But if you're passionate about your stories and are willing to put in the work, you can definitely build up a following and start making some money through your Instagram or Facebook page. Step four, start a YouTube short space channel. Another great way to make money with your illustrated storybooks is by creating short videos based on your stories and sharing them on YouTube shorts. This is an amazing way to reach a wider audience and monetize your content. First things first, think about which stories would work well as short videos. You might want to focus on scenes or moments from your books that are particularly visual or action packed. Then use a video editing tool to create short clips that capture the essence of your story. Once you've created your videos, start sharing them on YouTube shorts. I would suggest using loads of relevant keywords and hashtags in your video descriptions to help people find your content. And don't forget to engage with your audience by responding to comments and asking for feedback. As your audience grows, you can start monetizing your content through ads, or you could even include affiliate links in your video descriptions to products or services related to your content. One of the great things about YouTube Shorts is that it's still a relatively new platform, which means there's a lot of opportunity for growth and engagement. By creating engaging, visually appealing content, you can quickly grow your audience and start making money through your videos. Step five, share the stories on Steemit. So another cool way to make some money with your illustrated storybooks is by sharing them on Steemit. I don't know if you've heard of it, but Steemit is a social media platform where you can earn money for creating and sharing content. The way it works is that you sign up for a Steemit account and then start posting your illustrated storybooks. You'll earn Steam, which is the platform's native cryptocurrency, based on how many views and likes your posts get. The more engagement your content receives, the more Steam you can earn. I found that the key to success on Steemit is to create really engaging content. If your stories are interesting and well-written, you're more likely to attract a following and earn some Steam in the process. It's also important to use relevant tags and categories to help people find your content. One of the things that stands out to me about Steemit is that it's a community-driven platform. You can engage with other users by commenting on their posts, upvoting content that you enjoy, and even collaborating on projects together. It's a great way to connect with other writers and artists who share your interests. And of course, the best part about earning Steam is that you can exchange it for other cryptocurrencies or even for real world currency like US dollars. It's not a get rich quick scheme, but if you're willing to put in the time and effort to create great content, it's definitely possible to earn some extra cash through Steemit and to think you can make all this money by just leveraging the power of ChatGPT and Tails Factory. You don't even have to do any of the real hard work yourself. So that's how you can use these amazing AI bots to make money online. Once again, everything that we talked about in this tutorial will be linked in the description box below. And if you wanna see more AI related make money online tutorials just like this one, make sure to subscribe to this channel with notifications on.